What's up guys, it's your boy King Out Gaming back out here with another video, and in today's video, I wanted to change it up a bit and talk about 10 great budget Switch games that you can afford. These aren't in any specific order, they're just 10 really good budget Switch games that I would recommend. And so to start off, I would say the one I would recommend the most is probably Sonic Mania, because for only $20, you get so much replayability, the soundtrack is amazing, the sprite work is some of the best I've ever seen, and it's just a really good time. I would also recommend paying an extra $5 to upgrade to the Plus DLC with Mighty Ray in the Encore mode, but that's optional if you want to or not. The next game I would recommend is Boomerang Fu. Now it sounds silly, but it's a really good time with friends. Me and some of my friends have had a blast with it. It's a really fun, simple to control multiplayer game that I would highly recommend and is surprisingly addicting, which you can pick up on the Switch eShop for only $15. The next game I would recommend is Mega Man X Legacy Collection. Not just the first one, not the bundle or the second one, because I've heard the second one has the X games that weren't that great, but the first one is the four classic ones, and I would highly recommend picking it up because those are really good and have awesome music and fun gameplay too. I would just say it is rated teen, just for if you're younger and you're watching this, just be careful about that, but you could get the X Legacy Collection for only $20. The next budget Switch game I would recommend is Kirby Fighters 2. It's pretty much Smash Bros, except with less characters and in a sort of different way, but it's an enjoyable playthrough and I like the battle tower mode or whatever it is it has some really good music some pretty intuitive gameplay but it's a smaller package compared to something like smash but it's still worth it for twenty dollars i would say the next game i would recommend after that is heave ho it's just another sort of silly fun multiplayer experience that you could it's a fun time to mess around with friends and that's only ten dollars that you could pick up on the eShop. It is definitely very fun to just spin each other and like try to throw each other off the edge and whatnot. The next game I would recommend is Astro Bears, which is honestly, it can get very competitive and very intense, but it's also a very fun multiplayer game that me and my friends have had a lot of fun with. We've put some good hours into it and it's just, it's pretty fun. And that's only $7. After that, I would say another great budget Switch game is Mega Man 11. I've played the demo, I have not played the full game itself, but it is definitely a good Mega Man game. It's a bit hard, but it's definitely a good challenge. I would recommend picking up X Legacy Collection instead since you're getting four Mega Man games for the price of one that you'd get for 11. But if you'd want a more modern, polished Mega Man experience, you could go pick this up at a local store or on the eShop for $20. The next game I would recommend is Mario and Rabbids Kingdom Battle. I know it's normally $60, but all the time I see it on sale for $20, if not a lot cheaper. And I would recommend it because it's a very good strategy experience, and it has a lot of charm and character, and since the second one is coming out next year, it was pretty successful, and it was, I would say it's better than you'd think. The next game I would recommend is Overcooked, which is a very fun, chaotic multiplayer experience. If you want to yell at your friends a bunch and just do a bunch of random fun stuff, it's a lot of fun. You could also pay, which Overcooked goes for about $20, or you could get Overcooked 2 for $25. I would recommend doing that. I only got Overcooked 1 because it was on sale in the eShop for like 7 bucks once. And then the last game I would recommend, I have not played personally myself, but I heard it's really good, is Stardew Valley. It's pretty much like Minecraft except it's 2D and it's more of like a simulator and less of like an adventure battle type thing like Minecraft, but I've heard it can be very addicting and very relaxing as well. And so yeah, those are 10 great budget Switch games that you can afford. If you liked the video, please make sure to like, subscribe, and comment down below. Let me know if you'd want me to do another video similar to this. That's all from me. See y'all in the next one.